If I were to tell you that you're useless and your life is meaningless and you're not going to amount to anything in life, you have a choice. You can either prove me right or you can prove me wrong. But either way, I just gave you an opinion and you now have a thought in your mind of something that you're going to do. The actions you're going to take are either going to do one of two things, prove me right or prove me wrong. So today's episode, we're going to be looking at how to develop thick skin. And when people tell you opinions that rub you the wrong way, we're going to watch how in this episode, we're going to learn how to make yourself a lot more mentally tough and resilient to those sorts of interactions and those sorts of circumstances. Welcome back to Motivate, Grind, Succeed, the podcast, the show that helps you to systemize success in the four foundational pillars of faith fellowship, fitness, and finance through high performance habits. My name is Rashawn. I am your host, as well as your favorite internet neurotransformation coach. And let's hop right into this episode of learning how to develop some thick skin and become mentally tough. A lot of times people will struggle with negative opinions and hurtful words. And it's honestly not your fault because that's what the brain is designed to do. It's designed to look for the negatives, look for what could be perceived as harm and to dwell on it parse through it so that way it can help you to survive and not to thrive. However, in today's climate, we really don't have a lot of those issues in terms of survival because we're not fighting for our lives against T-Rexes and Velociraptors. So building mental toughness and thick skin is, compared to those times, a lot easier to do now. And honestly, it's quite essential in order to navigate through life, because as long as there are people, there will be opinions. And as long as there are opinions, there will be opinions that do not align with yours. And there will be some that just simply plain old rub you the wrong way. You know what those are. And if you need some assistance in building some resilience, this episode is for you. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to eliminate the negative influences. Stop hanging out with unsupportive people, man. Avoid people who do not support you. Avoid those who talk down on you and don't want the best for you. Because there's always going to be those people. Those people who are going to hate on what you're doing. The people who don't see the point. And a lot of times, it's just random people online. They're usually from faceless or nameless accounts where you could tell it's just some throwaway thing with a a throwaway email. Why why would I be bothered? I'm not going to reply to that. There's no point for me to. You're just somebody who doesn't support. You're someone who's talking down. You don't want the best for somebody else. You could have taken that time and listened to the episode, listened to the information I'm giving you and make your own life better. But no, you chose the path of least resistance and decided to try to make somebody else's life miserable. So what you want to do is find the people who are those negative influences. And you know, who it's not going to take much brain power because you know who they are and you want to eliminate them from your life. Okay, just remove them wish them bon voyage and just cut ties with them. For example, if someone constantly finds holes in your success, you achieve something great. You gave a public speech. You've never been able to give a public speech before. Then you finally get one done. And the first thing that person says to you is could have been better. They don't deserve to be in your life. You want to focus. And that's just an example for you, but you want to focus on maintaining relationships with those who celebrate your achievements. Focus on those the ones who celebrate with you, genuinely celebrate with you, not just are there to celebrate because they want a piece of the pie that you're going to get later, but because they genuinely care about you. Those are the ones you want to keep in your circle. Number two point that I want to bring up to help you develop some thick, mental, tough skin is to understand the power of belief. Words only hurt if you believe them. Now, that's kind of a hot take, but I believe words can only hurt you if you believe them. Here's why I say that. To me, words are words, okay? Words are simply words. The words that I'm saying will have completely different meanings to two completely different people who are listening. Somebody will listen to this show for pure entertainment value. Somebody will watch this video for pure entertainment value and then do nothing because the words don't mean anything to them. But somebody else will take these words and say, yeah, that actually makes sense and apply and implement and start to see change. The words didn't change. The meaning behind them is what changed. And even then, the meaning is what the person attributed to the words. I made a mention of this in a past episode where I said, if I say the words Donald Trump, Donald Trump is just two words. 
But based on your interactions, your experiences and all those kind of things with those two words and the circumstances around those words and what in your morals, ethics and beliefs, they formulate the thoughts, behaviors, beliefs, actions and emotional states behind those words. That's why I believe that words only hurt you if you let them and if you believe them. If someone looks at me and tells me I'm a failure, deep down, I know that I'm not. So that's not going to affect me in the way that of the person wants. I'm not going to say, oh, man, maybe maybe I am a failure. Maybe this maybe this is all too good to be true. I know deep down that I am not a failure. This person is simply just projecting something that one of their insecurities onto me. That's how I see it. So the words only hurt if you believe them. That's the power of belief. So if the words do hurt you on the flip side, you want to then take that and reflect on why those certain words or those opinions hurt you and cause an emotional trigger, which we're going to, which is actually the third point. Well, you want to see why those things cause those emotions in you. A lot of times it could be because of some kind of deep rooted insecurity that you have. Remember how we said from the past when you're basically a sponge from the ages of birth to about seven years old, there could be some insecurities that you don't even realize are there, but it's something that needs to come to light for you to realize so that way you can go ahead and improve upon your life. A lot of times negative reviews, negative comments, they get at people, they eat at people, they gnaw at people a lot of times for two reasons. One, it's probably an insecurity that the person faces. Or number two, it's because we talked about in last week's episode that the brain is to help you to survive and not to thrive. So it focuses on the negative. And because of that, it affects them. It affects you. It affects me. So what you want to do is when you see those things or you hear those things, reflect, understand what is it that this person is saying. Are they saying it because of animosity? Are they saying it because of strife? Are they saying it because maybe there is truth to it? Maybe I'm just perceiving it negatively. It's all on you because you can't control what the other person says or how they say it, but you can control how you receive it, perceive it, and actually let it affect you. And so the third thing that I want to talk about for developing thick skin is to see the triggers as gifts. because. Triggers highlight areas for growth. When someone says something, does something, and it affects you and you get upset, you get angry, you get any sort of emotional response, even happy, that is a trigger. And a trigger, in this case, in the negative way, where you're angry, upset, those kind of emotions that typically are not as you know upbeat, that shows you an area where you need to work on yourself. What you want to do is embrace those triggers as opportunities for development. For example, if you get angry or you get emotional very, very easily around somebody or somebody says somebody's name and now you have an immediate response, an immediate reaction of, oh, that, that person, that's a trigger. That's a trigger. You don't even realize it, but that's a trigger. If someone says something and you get livid and upset, that's a trigger. You need to look, again, reflect, and you need to look at why is it that this affects me? I'm not going to get too much into it in this episode because I already made an episode on it about episode 158 where I talk about the five steps to address triggers and how to use them for growth. So if you want to check out that, I did a bigger deep dive on that one. Again, episode 158, go ahead and check that one out. But in a nutshell, what I want you to also understand from this one is that when you find those triggers, you want to utilize some self-improvement techniques. Journaling, that works for you. Therapy, meditation, Whatever it is that works for you, my favorite is just self-reflection. It's just realizing at the end of the day, okay, what did I do that I wanted to do better? A lot of times it happens in that moment. Once that moment is done and the emotions have subsided, I realize that could have gone a lot better. So what can I do next time to make it go a lot better? And so that's pretty much the end of the episode. So to quickly recap, what are the three main steps that we can use to develop this thick skin and the mental toughness? Well, number one is to eliminate the negative influences, whether it be the people or beliefs. You want to understand the power of belief. You want to understand that words are just words and the words only have power when you let them have power over you. And number three is you want to see the triggers as gifts. Embrace the triggers as an opportunity for growth and work on addressing the potential baggage that you have in your life that's causing you to slow down and not achieve the goals that you want to achieve. 
That's what I have for you for this episode. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you implement something. And I will see you in the next episode. And guys, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Motivate, Grind, Succeed, the podcast. Guys, again, if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe to the show for weekly uploads. If you love what you heard, be sure to sign up for that email list. And if you hated what you heard, be sure to share it with somebody who will appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to get access to the show notes or any kind of resource or link or to anything that was referenced in this episode be sure to check out that episode description below you'll also find the contact information any freebies or any sort of thing from our little corner of the internet check out the episode description it's going to be an absolute gold mine for you guys until next time take care and i will see you in the next episode